Okay, back with another patching tip video on the Behringer Chaos. This video is about how to hook a keyboard up to it and use the three voltage outputs to rotate between three different voices. So I have a MIDI keyboard going to a MIDI to CV converter and then the trigger output is going to the clock input and the keyboard CV output is going to the spread input. And the middle button is pressed which puts the Chaos in sampling mode. So if this far right button is in green mode, um, all three outputs will play whatever goes into the spread input from the keyboard. So if I play them, we'll just hear all three voices. But on yellow mode, the voices will rotate like a shift register. So some interesting things can be done with this. For the three voices, I'm using a Behringer Brains and a Create Audio East Beast and West Pest. Um, I put the camera like this so we can see the voices and the keyboard as well. It would have been nice to film the chaos up close, but hopefully you can see the knob settings and the lights of the buttons. Um, chaos is a Make Noise Marbles clone. The lights on the marbles are different so I don't I don't know what mode I think yellow is green on the marbles um, anyways I have a sequence here I'm gonna run it and we'll just change some knobs and see what happens so if we're on green we just hear the normal sequence but on yellow they rotate um, I have the bias and the steps straight up, which means there's no um, spread going on and there's no extra quantization. If you turn the steps all the way, you get just one note or um, just like a major minor chord type thing. And then if you turn it counterclockwise, you get some glide, which can be useful. So, with the bias straight up, the spread doesn't do that much. It moves them around a little bit, not that much. But if you move the bias either direction, you can get these um, different spread of the notes, which can be nice. Add some glide. So you can use the feedback to loop portions of the sequence. But it gets kind of interesting when you use the spread and bias and then quantize it a bit with the steps. You get a different feeling sequence from the same notes. So we'll stop the sequence. Um, depending how you play, you can get some pretty cool effects out of these.
but you have to pick your notes carefully if you're just to play like a major scale. It doesn't sound that good. You have to play like um, like a minor chord or major chord and stick to those notes and chord changes that sound smooth. So it's kind of interesting to just play, use it as like pass your um, MIDI to CV signals through the chaos because even on green mode, you can do some cool things um, with the spread down. They all play the same, but if we bring the bias up, You can get some kind of inharmonic stuff, same on red mode. But if you bring it down to like just fifths or just the three notes of the on the steps, you can get some interesting things. The thing with this is if you're sequencing another voice, uh, it'll get pushed pretty far from, um, like I'm using a 2600 here for the MIDI to CV converter. And if I was to bring up the 2600 while the sequence was playing and the spread and stuff, it'll sound totally different. So you have to kind of um, find the sequence first on these three voices and then tune your other synth parts around it. So we'll try running the sequence again. It's gonna be pretty um, strange because it's on red mode at the moment. Take some experimentation to find where these um, inharmonic ones kind of work, but there are some spots. But yellow mode is pretty, um, pretty friendly. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching.